Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Blessings Doherty, if you are here for the first time. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. Um, today we're going to be talking about vision boards, but before we do that, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe, and also put the notification bell on so you don't miss any time that I upload. I wouldn't want you to miss the content that I have for you guys coming up this year. Today we're talking about vision boards, and it's that time of year, I think, where everyone realises, okay, Okay, I want to be more intentional about my time okay maybe I wasn't able to achieve a lot of the goals that I put down last year and um, you kind of want a better way of being able to do that rather than just writing it down and forgetting about it well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do um, your very own vision board vision book whichever way that you prefer to document this and I really want to be able to help you guys I want us to let go of the false belief that God does not care about the desires of our hearts when he really does and I want to show you guys how to be intentional about it, how to track the vision and really see it come to pass um, week by week and month by month. And so if this does interest you, welcome to a more intentional 2022. Okay, so first of all, what exactly is a vision board? A vision board is kind of like a visual representation of your, whether your goals, your dreams, your wishes, your aspirations, um, and it can cover many areas of your life. Okay, so let's kind of look at why we make vision boards as well, because if you, we can't just do something without having a reasoning behind it and why I personally do it. So the first reason that I um, decided to start doing vision boards is because number one, it helps me to live my life with a lot more intention. Um, you know, I've recently had a greater realization that tomorrow isn't promised and we should really um, make our best efforts to live each and every single day with intention, with purpose um, and really try trying to get towards those goals and aspirations um, that we have for ourselves and also the ones that God is directing us to as well. So it's so important that in order for us to achieve these things, um, having it written down helps us to be able to just have that laser focus and to be much more intentional about these goals and aspirations that we have. You know, Habakkuk 2.2 talks about writing the vision and making it plain. Um, so write the vision down, make it plain so that every time you see it, it gives you that drive to be able to run with it to be able to um, achieve that goal to be able to achieve that dream um so yeah that's the first reason why i personally started writing a vision board the second reason why i started doing a vision board is for gratitude purposes i've noticed that there are times where sometimes because we don't document the desires that we have when it comes to pass we completely forget that this is something that you've been wanting for so long and work towards it but because you hadn't written it down it just becomes that other thing that okay yeah I've, I've completed this but having it on a vision board and seeing like wow this thing that was visually there is actually coming to pass is something that you can really just take time to really give god thanks for and be grateful for i remember um the year before i actually put um saint john's college cambridge on my vision board um and I remember that just gave me like motivation and drive and helped me to be more intentional about my work so that I'd be able to obviously go to Cambridge University for. and the fact that I'm here now and I can say just um, allows me to just be very grateful um, because yeah it, it, it came to pass and yeah it was on my vision board and just looking back at it just allows me to just be so grateful to thank God for it and to also journal about it. Okay, so the third point that I want to make regarding um, why I believe creating a vision board is important is kind of also a caveat point um, because I think a lot of people tend to, um, especially Christians, we tend to be scared almost that thinking that making a vision board is kind of a worldly thing or um, it's not of God and God does not want us to prosper um, physically or materially but actually the Bible talks about and I actually find the scripture verse I've got it somewhere here but it says in 3 John beloved I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers so just as we are prospering in the spirit and growing in the spirit God wants us also to prosper in the things that are physical as well and 
and there's a caveat to this because it's not to say that okay um it's more important i'm not saying that the physical is more important but what i'm saying is we shouldn't um adopt this idea that god does god does not care about the desire of our hearts and it's just all about um things in the spirit yes ultimately things are spiritual um, but god does want us to prosper in the physical as well so i encourage you guys to dream big write your goals and aspirations you know talk to god about these aspirations talk to god about these things and ultimately so that it's not rooted in the place of greed or trying to prove anything but it's coming from a place of you genuinely want to experience all that god has to offer in this life another point that i actually want to make um regarding um this whole thing of prospering in the physical as well and materially is that we see that people who aren't even christians they adopt the biblical principles and they are quite successful in terms of the monetary wise in terms of and um, being able to achieve their dreams and aspirations we who are saved and um you know are we've been made alive in christ why don't we to adopt the very biblical principles um about whether it be wealth creation finances so god is not telling us that we shouldn't be able to we shouldn't prosper in the physical so i really encourage you guys even on your vision boards include things that um per se aren't spiritual even if it means going on a certain holiday a certain dream that you have um a certain aspiration but ultimately just really talk to god about what is the motive of your heart what is your intention behind having in this thing because ultimately if it's just rooted in greed rooted in trying to prove to people or um that you're this type of person then ultimately that is wrong um, but to have that desire to experience the goodness that god has in this life for us is not evil at all so i just wanted to highlight that as well there are actually three different ways of documenting your vision so now that we've highlighted what a vision board is why we make a vision board there are actually three different ways you can do it and choose the one that suits you i've recently adopted so okay so let me go through the three ways and i'll show you first what i've been doing so usually i've been um, over the past couple of years i have a physical board whether it be a cork board a3 sheet of paper and i print the images and um, regarding the goals and aspirations i have and put scriptures as well to back up these um things that i've um desires that i have and i put them on a board and hang it somewhere in my room that's kind of the typical way of doing it but i've noticed over the years that I think there's a better way for me personally which is having a book or document that i'm able to track it throughout the year so you can get like a journal um, and call it your vision book rather than a vision board and, and be able to really write down your goals and aspirations and month by month this is going to be the one book that you go to in order to track your vision and um, really see that you're actually achieving these goals so if you're like me and you're just trying to go paperless and use it much less paper um you can go digital so um i know that one thing that i've done recently is get a screensaver and you can put your um images on there so it's saved and that's free you can do that on canva um, and you don't have to print anything out um, or you can also like me create so I'm doing both I'm having a digital board that I'm keeping as a screensaver on my phone and my laptop and then I'm also having a digital um, vision book where I can go throughout the year and you know incorporate more in this document lessons that I'm learning and goals I've been able to achieve and really track the vision throughout the year so those are the three different types of ways to document your vision through a physical book through a physical board or a digital um, method Okay, so now that you've gotten to this point, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own vision board. Um, I'm not going to show you entirely because I don't believe in putting out my goals just out there on the internet. Everyone's different, um, but I personally just prefer to keep it personal to me. Um, but I'm definitely going to explain to you guys in detail, step by step, how to create your own um, vision board or vision book and the resources that I have used to personally help me. So the first step when creating a vision board for 2022 or vision book is reflecting on the previous year it's so important because sometimes um we're so quick we just want to write the goals and we're so excited but we don't think okay why is it that i was not able to achieve certain goals last year um what was my mental state last year you don't really ask ourselves the question the important questions um now i'm going to link down below two resources that i use that really really helped me to reflect on the past year and also to create a vision for the next year so the first one that I'm going to link down below, it's called Year Compass. Um, it's this booklet whereby you're, and I honestly recommend it guys,
guys it's free to download you can even write it in digitally on the p digitally on the p digitally is that the right word yeah digitally on the put on the pdf and be able to just edit um the questions that it has for you i'll definitely show you guys um right here so you can see what i'm talking about but it's a really great resource because you're able to look back at the past year the goals you were able to achieve um look week by week um the key events things that you enjoyed things you didn't enjoy people that you maybe need to forgive it's a really great resource at just really reflecting as well um and i use the entire booklet also to create um my vision board for the new year um and writing down goals and aspirations and habits that i want to be able to develop in the new year so the first step is really reflecting um and the second resource that i used for reflecting was um unjaded jade's um template um on notion on her 20 how to reflect on like the previous year it's an old video but i'll definitely link um the video that she created and her template and she it has these questions where you're just able to ask yourself things that you may have not thought about previously like okay so why um what things did i enjoy this year um why did i enjoy them which people did i enjoy being around and you're able to ask yourself important questions before going into the next year a side note that i wanted to actually just add in with the year compass and with the um on jada jade's notion template you can always just adapt it to suit more to suit up to suit yourself for example it didn't have um on, on jada's jade sections it didn't have the like spiritual side of things like my faith my walk in god so i just included that as a section or with the year compass because it had set sections i couldn't really adjust it but i just created my own little bit in the sections and i just write faith in god and write my certain goals for my walk in god so just really adapt it to suit yourself don't feel rigid or like oh it's not here i can't do it no just suit it to whatever is important to you the key steps in creating your vision board or vision book is first of all involving god in that moment because there's some people that they prefer to um just sit there and listen to the voice of god first before writing their visions and their goals which i 100 percent recommend um but what i decided to do was using the year compass booklet that i'm linked down below and i highly recommend again for you guys to use this is i just set out two hours of my time to just really reflect played some worship music and i just sat there reflecting on the year and also writing my goals for the new year and just talking to god about them um hearing his heart concerning the those things um but also not just leaving it there and i really aim throughout the year to just continually talk to god about these goals and aspirations that i have written down why because the bible talks about that my sheep hear my voice my sheep know my voice and a stranger's voice they do not follow so if we hear his voice and because we are his sheep we hear his voice so i really encourage you guys to listen to the voice of god practice the presence of god and daily choose to be intentional and listen to what god is saying because ultimately that will be your roadmap in order to achieve in these goals and these aspirations that you have written down we want to be people that are guided by god and then the third step is to now declare these um visions and these goals bring them before god in your prayer time it kind of links to the previous point that i made but really apply the word of god to these things so if it's certain goals and aspirations that you have you know find a scripture that kind of links to the goal that you have and really declare that and um, because you know the bible talks that there's um the power of life and death is in the tongue so let's speak life over our dreams let's speak life over our aspirations and we, let's really see them come to pass okay so to make sure that you guys haven't got lost so far i just want to clarify that the first point is to number one reflect the next step is to listen to the voice of god and the third step is to declare in prayer time now we're going to move on how do we track this vision board how do we make sure that we actually are able to achieve and be intentional about achieving these goals that we have set for ourselves okay so a way of tracking your progress month after month is something that i call your ceo day in the month and i saw this time from a webinar that i went to by caitlin nanez hopefully if she still has the link to the webinar or um the workbook that I was able to sign up to and get I'll put that in the comment in the descriptions um, section for you guys to go and check out um, but I'll pretty much explain to you guys what that CEO month is so your CEO month and the reason why I called it why it's called the CEO month is CEO stands for chief executive 
officer i believe so the way i've just forgotten that chief executive officer so it's like you know god has given us each 24 hours in this day and it's like with this time let's be the ceos of our time so we're going to use a day pick a day in the month whether it be the start of the month or the end of the month where you're going to track your particular um your goals your visions and to see them actually if are they improving what lessons are you learning what things could you do better and that's what you're going to use that particular day for so for me personally it's always the end of the month um that i like to pick my ceo month because it gives me time to reflect upon the month and then make goals for the next month um so that's personally what i've been doing um since around september 2021 and it's really been helpful and allowed me to feel a lot more organized um, and in control of the time that God has given me. So yeah, so that's your CEO month. And then if you want to track it also now on a weekly basis, you're going to have something called your CEO day. So this is a day in the week where you set aside two to three hours um, to really just reflect upon the week. Were you able to achieve your goals in the week? Um, if so, um, you treat yourself to reward. If not, why were you not able to achieve them and what can you do to improve it um, for next time so ultimately do you see what we're doing here is that we are kind of funneling it out so we have goals for the year and we're breaking it up into what are our goals for the month and after that we are breaking it up into what are our weekly goals and ultimately we see that by achieving the weekly goals we achieve the monthly goals by achieving the monthly goals we achieve the yearly goals so i'm sure that you guys are kind of getting the gist of what i'm saying so this is kind of a really practical way for you guys to really track um your vision and to see it come to pass and what you can do this is by simply setting this up in google calendar or apple calendar so what i usually do is i have two calendars i have um, my apple calendar and also my google calendar and i sync them together so that if i write something on my apple calendar it would also come up on my google calendar and i write down the time of the month that i want to do my ceo day in the month or my ceo day in the week and every week it's just there for me the calendar reminds me um, when it's taking place so i never forget um about that so then the next step that i want to also talk about is just two little side points is and i kind of mentioned one earlier but the first is gratitude um don't just be a person where you've written this vision board and all these great things you know take place in your life and you're growing and you're able to achieve your goals and you don't actually take time to you know just be grateful and count your blessings you know my name is blessing so by by default it's something i always think about but count your blessings and if it means you have a journal and you're able to write down um the what you're grateful for and also if it means as well um like being showing your gratitude with your tithes and and really giving to god i believe that is a great biblical principle um to about to apply in your life so whether it be tithing um giving to be to show that you're grateful to god um for that particular thing then go ahead and then the last point that i want to make is regarding growth be willing to invest in yourself this 2022 because some, you have to be so intentional about your goals in the sense that there are times where it will require for you to pay money to be able to invest in yourself and to be able to improve yourself um, and achieve these goals. Um, a, a good example that I will actually give to you guys is I noticed that um, I had a bad habit of being really productive for a time period and then all of a sudden just being really lazy so i had no balance i would just go from one extreme to the next extreme and i realized i just don't want to be lazy anymore i want to live life with purpose and with intention and so i went to a webinar and the webinar that i mentioned earlier and it was just talking about overcoming laziness and really being intentional with your time and i had to pay to go to that webinar but it was the it was a great investment in myself and it's allowed me to be able to be more intentional about my goals and now I can even come today to tell you guys, okay, this is how you are now able to create your own vision board, create something that's going to be able to help you to achieve your goals. So I really hope that you guys implement everything that I've shared today. If you have questions or anything that you want me to clarify on, be sure go ahead to let me know in the comment section so yeah please interact with me let me know your thoughts on this video and um, also what are the ways that you stay productive through the years or achieve your goals and your dreams and yes thank you for watching and don't forget to like to share and subscribe put the notification bell on and yes thank you so much for watching my name is blessing 30 and yes goodbye